I am going to send a message to the electrician today so that I can get him to come and set up my kiln. Yay! And that will be a whole nother process that I'm going to have to learn and hopefully you'll be right there with me. I am going to make some mugs for my sister and her grass cutting business. Her and her husband have a grass cutting business and they have a YouTube channel. It's uh, Jay's Crazy Cuts and Extended Cuts. They have two channels. So I'm going to make them some mugs and I'm going to put their logo on it. And so I am going to try and attempt to make three mugs that are the same, which I should be able to do since I've already done that a couple times now. So I'm getting better and I'm proud of myself. <clears throat> I have my four wedged balls. So let's get on the wheel. Okay, so the next step to the cups that I am making for my sister's business, Jay's Crazy Cuts, is to make the logos and put them on the cups. Two of the cups, I'm going to put a rounded logo. Um, that she gave me a sticker template, and I'm going to put that sticker template on the cups. The other two cups, I'm just going to put their name the business's name on it so wish me luck i don't have a canvas on my workstation so i just took an old blanket that was clean and used it and this has totally changed my hand building abilities so i'm very excited about using the blanket now it, the clay works so much better I don't have a completely round cookie cutter to uh, cut these out. Also, they have these little bath bomb casings, the molds. It's round. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to use 
to cut these. Plus, I think it's a pretty good size for it. Okay, so I took the logo and I copied it on a piece of paper. And so now I'm going to trace it using a ballpoint pen and I am hoping that this works. Okay, <laughs> that, that came out pretty okay. <laughs> um, it has the paper on it, but it gives me a better idea on how to trim it, so yay! Okay, so this is the first one using the paper. That's before the paper really started tearing too, too much. That looks really good. This one is the second one that I tried to deepen it and uh, it's not looking so great. The paper was coming apart by this point, so can only use paper once. I'm excited. Exciting. Uh, this logo is off their t-shirt. I'm gonna try and do it. Um, I might have to print a second one since we know how the paper works now. These mugs have not, they're not leather hard yet. They're still leather, but I'd like to go ahead and put, go ahead and imprint it while I can before it uh, stiffens up too, too much. But I gotta do this without destroying it too. So there's that.
paper stuck to it uh, that should burn off in the bisque fire I am gonna have to print another one of these for it to work but I'm not sure about the bottom part of the logo I might smooth over that because I don't think that's gonna work I might just try and paint that on there that edge mode trim and blow so I mean I'm liking it hopefully these don't mess up in the kiln Make sure to join me for part two of this video to see how the cups came out after I bisque and glazed fired them. But the TV's a little loud today. I'm going to two of the cups scratch, try again.